Hello everyone, uh, we will start in about three minutes. I just also realized that my drink is empty, so I need to get a new one. Um, three more minutes and then we will start with today's lesson. Uh, so, Sanfu no ato kyo no lesson. 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 Kyo no lesson wa Sanfu no ato hajimarimasu. It still did not unmute. <laughs> what the heck? Can you hear me now? Minasan, uh, ore o kikoru ne. You can hear me now, yes? Is, is this like one of those old, um, 
uh, what, what is that, Sprint or was it Verizon commercials? Like, can you hear me now? So, say, Mina san, kyo no desu no hajime Uh, if you saw the alert on Discord, you would have seen that today's focus will be on frequency adverbs and invitations. Um, I'm also looking at the textbook and also realizing at this point that today's the, today's the last day of chapter three, guys. I'm like, wait a second, this can't be right. I'm also very like that. I'm like my face rate is really close. There we go. Let me, I think that's better. That's better. <laughs> now I'm not. Oh god, I'm thirsty already. I haven't even talked that much. So it's nice to see everybody again. It makes me happy that you guys come to these Japanese lessons. Like, um, I don't know if you, got, if you have, uh, for you guys, if you knew my story, it's like, you probably don't know my story, but like, I used to teach high school Japanese. Um, I taught it 2017. That's what, four years ago? Seven, eight, nine, three, three. Yeah, about one, two. Yeah, I, I taught it four years ago. And I, I really enjoyed it. I connected with the kids. I connected, well, maybe not so much with the faculty. I didn't really care for them. They were kind of bleh. <laughs> uh, and the principal herself was bleh. But like... I, I, was, I, I Even though I enjoyed teaching high school Japanese, I felt the pace was slow, and I was like, maybe I could see, and this is probably where my downfall was, I was like, maybe I can see if I could potentially try teaching at the community college level. So I asked my principal and my assistant principal, can they like me a letter of recommendation? Uh, letter of recommendation in Japanese is Sui Senjo. So I asked them to write me a letter of recommendation. Uh, and they wouldn't. Uh, and so I emailed them one more time. I was like, I, I, I would like to see if there were options available for me. Can you please get me this letter of recommendation? Uh, then I finally got a reply saying, yes, we will. And then after I got the letter, two days later, uh, the principal called me into her office and said, due to the budget, we're letting you go. And I'm like, are, are you kidding me? And she's like, here's why on the budget. And she would show me the diagrams and I understand. Like, I was like, okay, I understand why I have to go. But a few days later, she was telling everyone, I volunteered to leave. And I'm like, no, this is bullshit. That's not the case at all. But yeah, that's my drama. That was two years ago. <laughs> uh, I, only I teach English as a second language now. And I definitely am much happier teaching Japanese because, like, I feel like, especially because me and, the, me and my students would always geek out. <laughs> like, literally, we would geek out. And uh, around that time, Smash Brothers had just come out. And, and it was like, okay, so my cat opened the door and then doesn't even come in. So, like, we would literally geek out together. Like, they would be like, Sensei, look at this meme. And I'm like, cool, I love this meme. <laughs> or, and then I would, like, incorporate it into my lessons. And around this time, uh, those of you that have been watching Wanda, uh, I've, I've been jumping in in Kitsuneko's WandaVision uh, showings. Uh, and then, like, at, at the time, I was teaching um, Endgame and um, in Infinity War had just come out. So all the quizzes, uh, I would tell my students, you guys need to be quiet and make sure you're focused on your quiz. And then I'll put questions in there like, what does this vocabulary word mean? And I'll put in like, Tony Stark dies, and then they would all freak out, kind of thing. I, I, would I, would, I literally would troll my kids. I think the best troll I did was when it was, uh, they were very nervous about their final exam. It must have been fun to have you as a, te as a teacher. Here, okay, I, I think I told you guys this before. I don't remember if I, uh, did I tell you what I did to my kids that were so nervous about their final exam? Oh, let me rephrase it. Their midterm exam. <laughs> I know I'm like diverting myself from the lesson, but like I'm like reliving my high school career. <laughs> so it, my students, uh, actually, my students were at this point, they were worried about like particles and all these things because uh, their midterm was actually chapter three, the one we're finishing up today. And... Um, they were so very nervous, and I had a, I, I was using, I wasn't using a school website because I hated them. 
at, at the time I hated them anyway, I was using something called the Weebly. So I was basically like, our classroom webpage is called the Weeb. Because <laughs> it's on Weebly. Uh, but anyway, I said, I put a post on their chat basically saying, um, okay, I know many of you are freaking out over your final exam. To make it easier for you, I have put up the test for you to view to better prepare for it. It will only be up for about two hours. You can find it by clicking here. And as soon as this, and like many students actually did this, and as soon as they clicked the here, as soon as they clicked here, it would immediately play Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. And they got so pissed at me. <laughs> I like literally Rick rolled my own students. <laughs> they, they, they weren't very, I mean, they were, they were happy, but at the same time, they were very angry. They did well in their final, or their midterm anyway. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me go on and get focused. All right, so today's fo uh, today's goal, kill no moko hyo wa frequency adverbs, no invitations. This, so we're going to focus with frequency adverbs and invitations. Let's go on and start with today's date. Kyo wa nan nichi to nan yobi desu ka? What is today's date? And of course, March ten, two thousand twenty-one. And while you guys are focused on this, just a, a, a small alert, and I tell this to my stu my real students at school also, um, but this Sunday is a very special day. Hey, Tommy, welcome in. There's a glump. Uh, this Sunday is a special day. For those of you, if you're not aware, this Sunday is something called Daylight Savings Time. Uh, so, unfortunately, right now it's 5.09. It would technically be 6 o'clock soon. Which means it's going to be very bright. That means I've been, I can just use, like... I'm, I'm going to use, like, Konnichiwa longer, apparently. <laughs> it also means we lose a, an hour of sleep. So, Neruju Kon wo... Sayonara. You guys are my digital students. <laughs> I, like, as soon as I said it, I was like, wait, that seems kind of rude. Niju ni chinen? Niju... Need you? Alright, so as an honor, you put need you, which is 20. Ni ichi. Uh, oh, I see what you're trying to do. Need you. Um, let's start uh, Start from the beginning. Ni, uh, we have this number, and uh, I believe I use red for this number. Mm hmm. Uh, this is an R2000. Do you remember what is the counter for two, for 1000? Ni what? And I see Jesse has put it, put it in, but I, uh, SNS, give it a shot first. Yep, Sen, there you go, you got it. So, Ni Sen. Uh, we don't have any hundreds in here yet, and hopefully I'm alive by then. Oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> uh, but we do have 20, so Ni Ju Ichi, and you did the year correctly. No. Yep, sen, ni sen, uh, ni juichi nen. Then we have March, uh, sangatsu. And the 10th, uh, numbers 1 through 10, I will have to teach on another day. In fact, that's actually going to be next chapter, I believe. Uh, numbers 1 through 10, as well as minutes in time. Uh, so numbers 1 through 10, uh, will be for when you count as days. Today's going to be, uh, tolka. Tol, hold on. Tolka? No. Tolka. There we go. Okay, it's one of these weird words. It's Tolka. So, Nisa ni ju ichi nen. Um, Sangatsu. Tolka. That looks like Tuka, but no, it's Tolka. Not Touka, but Tolka. It's one of those weird, tricky ones, in my opinion. Kind of like Toku Made. Like, until then. 
So we've been practicing uh, a lot using our particles. And I know some of you are still working. Ah, <laughs> uh, some of you are still uh, working with how to use these particles correctly. Um, like if you've been using the uh, doing the practice in the chat or in Discord, then um, you should be able to uh, keep up with this. Uh, time reference. This is one we're going to work with a little bit today. Uh, notice things like uh, when we refer to words like today, um, every night, every day, or even when. Uh, we don't use ni because these are more of like a um, a relative time, and we're going to be using that a little bit today with our frequency adverbs because they will relate to relative times. Uh, so, for example, like kyo today would not use ni. You, you would not say kyo ni. The kyo foxes-san wa gakko de hiru gohan no tabemasen. He will not eat lunch at school, kind of thing. Uh, and then every night at 7 o'clock, Kakotora-san goes to sleep. So, my ban, Kakotora-san wa shichiji ni And eventually, I will be putting up a schedule in Japanese for you guys to try to translate. And that would be one uh, a practice for you guys to do in Discord, as well as perhaps creating your own schedule too. Gotta use the particle cannon, yeah. I hear the particle cannon is a lot more str stronger than a seed cannon. But you never know. Depends on what kind of seeds they use in the seed cannon. I hear Kamari learned seed cannon in Final Fantasy X. I wonder if someone really has a seed cannon. I'm, I'm throwing this a little too much. <laughs> Alright, so for today, uh, we're going to be... Uh, actually, I'm going to look at our vocabulary real quick. If I go to the very top of the document and look at the vocabulary... Uh, it will open up the Quizlet. Uh, there are a few words I want to look at specifically. And they're going to be um, like these words here. These are going to be our frequency adverbs. Um, I need to start using some more of these words in here in our examples. Uh, first one we have is Amari. Amari. And for those of you that can't read the hiragana yet, I apologize. When I make the vocabulary for chapter 4, I'll make sure it's in romanji and hiragana. Amari plus negative, not oh. much. That's actually kind of cute to hear. Uh, so, amari plus negative. Uh, that negative here is going to be very important with today's lessons. So, amari means not much. Zen zen means not at all. And both of these require a negative. And I'll explain what that negative means very soon. Uh, taite is usually. Chotto is a little. I, I believe in this chotto. We're, gonna use, we're just going to use chotto for now. Skoshi is similar but slightly different. Uh, tokidoki sometimes. And yoku often. Uh, be careful with yoku. Yoku could also mean like well. Like you did well. Yoku dekimashita. You did well. Not you did often. Imagine being did often. <laughs> okay. All right. So if I go back to the notes, I'm going to make a. I'm going to use this vo our vocabulary to make a new table for today's lesson for our frequency adverbs. So let me add the title here. Title text. Yeah, uh, random furry geek. You can hang out here for as long as you like. Uh, so for our title for this, we'll call it as um, just basic frequency adverbs. Frequency ad adverbs, adverbs stuff. And here I'll make a table. Uh, adverb meaning. Hmm. Adverb meaning example. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I think I need five, so we'll try this real quick. And since this class's theme is blue, I'm going to make my table pretty by making it all blue. Because if it were green, I would die. So this would be our adverb, our meaning, and an example. So our first one I'm gonna put here, uh, I'm gonna put them here is Zen Zen. Then we have Amari. Then Chotto. Actually, hmm, I'm gonna put Tokidoki instead. 
ドキドキちょっと Am I missing one? Oh, Taite and Yoku. And then I'll also put these in Hiragana. Zen Zen. Amari. Toki Doki. Um, Toki Doki, I will put in Kanji, by the way, because we've learned it. Um. If you write uh, Toki Toki twice, you get Toki Doki. But uh, in Japanese, they tend to use the second symbol, the second kanji. It, re it literally just means repeat the previous kanji. Chotto. Taite. And Yoku. Now, two of these, I'm going to highlight their boxes in, uh, in, a, in a light red. Uh, that will, it will only be Zen Zen and Amadi. And the reason why I'm doing this, if you recall in the vocabulary, it said, uh, like, Amadi plus negative and Zen Zen plus negative. Uh, this negative means that you have to use the negative form of the verb. You must use the negative form of the verb. In this case, we'll say that Zen Zen means never. Never, not at all. And then we'll put it, uh, use negative form. Whereas amari means not often. And again, use negative, I can't spell, negative form. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm trying to, be, I'm trying to use more of the vocabulary. I'm actually really bad at this. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at our vocabulary list. And see which words I have not used lately. Um, I have not used Hayai with you guys yet. So for Zen, Zen um, I'm going to use this here for Amari. So I would say Amari, Hayai, Oki, Masen. Amari, Hayai, Oki, Masen. I think this is right. Amari hayai okimasen. Now, amari means not often. Hayai. In this sentence, what does hayai mean? Uh, for those of you that have been studying the vocabulary, what do you believe hayai means? Hayai. Hayai. Amari hayai okimasen. And of course, uh, it's not written here, but it's assumed that we're talking about myself. はやいおきません。あ、あまり早いおきません。私はあまり早いおきません。うん。<laughs> gives up already. Let's see. Let me open up the vocabulary. Here we go. Hayai. Here it is. Hayai. Well, uh, hayai means early. Early. So this sentence means I do not. You're right. It would be Hayaku here. Because it's connected. It's right now. Yeah, you're right. What's resubscribe in Japanese? <laughs> uh, Cowfeather, thank you for resubscribing for three months. Uh, resubscribe this. <laughs> I actually don't know. Uh, Hayaku Janai. Uh, yes, in this case, you're right. It would be Hayaku. How would I use Hayai? Amari, here. If I said... Would this make more sense? Like, Amari Hayai Asa ni Okimasen. Amari hayayasu ni okimasen. In which case, um, what is asa? If anyone remembers, what is asa? Like I'm trying to use these. This is why, I, like, I try to force myself to use these words more. <laughs> yes, morning. I do not wake up early. 
in the morning often. I, I, I'm going to rewrite that. I do not often wake up early in the morning. That sounds weird still in English. Amari hayayasu ni okimasan. Uh, first of all, this ni. Why, why is this ni here, by the way? Uh, remember the uses of particle ni. When do, uh, yes, th this is a time reference. So we're referring to this, indicating that early morning. Uh, technically, this one um, is not needed. Uh, uh, like... Here we go. Like sometimes, like in the morning, particle ni, you, you wouldn't necessarily need it. Like what I eat breakfast in the morning. Watashi wa asa, or just like asa, asa gohan o tabemasen. I prefer, honestly, I like using it. Uh, as, like, so for practice, because I like being able to understand that that is a time reference. That, but that's personal preference for me. So, amari hayayasu ni okimasen. I do not often wake up early in the morning. And notice that we use okimasen, the negative form of the verb. That's because we, uh, when using amari, we must use the negative form of said verb. Kizuneko-san, do you subscribe or not? I'm checking my dictionary too, because I, I like uh, help. Editor, I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> Resubscribe. I spelled it wrong. I have no results in my in my dictionary. <laughs> All right, uh, our next one. Um, I know I skipped Zen Zen because I wanted to do one that I, I felt was more personal for me. Uh, let me see vocabulary list. What's a word that I don't really use that often? Um. I use these words all the time. Kashira. Sabusuke. Hmm. Maybe. I'm checking. Uh, I actually don't know that kanji. <laughs> I, I'm like trying. Um, yeah, I think that one may be correct, but I don't, I, personally, I don't know that word. It's not one I use often. Uh, I'm looking at the vocabulary list and I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll do this one. I'll say like, we'll say, sen sensei wa. Subscribe wa sabusuku desu. Sabusuku. Sabusa, sabusuku. That's a weird word. Sabusuku. Uh, sensei wa. Zen, uh, zen, zen, osake. Oh. And chat, what would be the appropriate verb for this then? Sensei wa zen zen osake o. We're talking about osake, alcohol. Sensei wa osake o. Sensei wa zenzen osake o. What verb should I use for this one? Conjugate it if you can. Remember, we do need to use the negative. Hai, nomimasen. Nomimasen. Sensei wa zenzen osake. Zenzen osake o nomimasen. Honestly, I have not used long form in such a in such a long time. It's kind of weird. I'm so used to saying like sensei wa osake wa zenzen no 
Uh, the sensei never drinks sake or alcohol. And this is how we uh, use Zenzen and Amadi. Now, even though Zenzen is technically a time reference, it does not use particle ni. Like, never. Like, when do you do this? Never. Never. I don't do that at all. Or Amadi. Not often. But none of these words are going to use a time reference. Our next one. I, I actually really like this one because it, it sounds really cute. Does anyone remember? What is Tokidoki? Tokidoki. Tokidoki. Tenki wa tokidoki hare desu. Ooh, I could use that. <laughs> uh, SNI says maybe. Jesse's guessing every time. I mean, that's a good guess. Uh, since it, we have the, the kanji for time here. Uh, tokidoki. This is actually going to be sometimes. This will be sometimes. I also just noticed we're missing a fox today. I mean, there's a lot of foxes in here, but we're missing a certain fox today. I wonder if foxes is busy. Uh, so sometimes. So tokidoki, sometimes. Um, we'll use Hellfeather this time. Hellfeather-san wa tokidoki. And I've been using sushi way too much. Let me find another word that we... Uh, let me use a vocabulary word. What's a vocabulary word that we have that's f like food? Here we go. How feather san wa toki doki. Aisu cream o tabemas. In this case, how feather san. Oh, they're out of town. Ooh, I hope they are having fun. How feather san wa toki doki. Aisu cream. アイスクリームを食べます。I was told someone was talking about me. <laughs> so, foxes on. Uh, konbanwa. <laughs> so for this one, help other san wa toki doki アイスクリームを食べます。Um, for those of you in chat, try to translate this for me. What does this mean in English? Peru Feza Sawa Toki Doki Aisukuri Mu O Tabemas Yes, everyone's correct. Ah, uh, how? Wait, how what? So how feather sometimes eats ice cream. Uh, some of you are putting it like in different orders. Like how feather eats ice cream sometimes. Uh, sometimes how feather eats. They're all correct. Uh, it means the same thing, just like different word order. So how do feather san wa toki doki ice cream o tabemas. So first of all, this particle here, particle o. Why am I using? Can someone explain why am I using particle o here? Why am I using particle O? <clears throat> and we did already talk about this knee. So I can highlight this one too in blue. And I meant to mention this last time in our first example, but why are we using this? Let's see, they are eating the ice cream, the action falls into it. I mean, I mean that's a good exam. I, I, there's a specific, yeah. It identifies the well, not the subject in this case. Remember, wa identifies the subject or the topic. We're talking about how feather sun. What does particle o? There, uh, o is the ob uh, uh, points to the object directly affected. So o is called the direct object particle. Wherever o is, there's something being, like, aisukurimu is being eaten in this sentence. The direct object. Uh, kind of like in before, o sake o nomimasen. The alcohol is not being drunk in this example. Yeah, 
Now, most of you may know this one. What is Chotto? Chotto. Chotto wa nan desu ka? In fact, you, you probably hear this one a lot in anime. Chotto. Yeah, a little. That's good. So we'll just say it's like, it's a little bit. A little bit. Just a little. There will be another use of Chotto later. Uh, but I'll explain that uh, toward the end of today's lesson. Chotto, just a little bit. So uh, I used Hellfeather last time. Let's use... I'm going to use... Um, nom, 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 nom. Random Furry Geek. We'll use you. Random Furry Geek. San. Wa. Oh, hold on. Random Furry Geek. San. Wa. Chotto. Chotto. I'm gonna make this a little a little longer. Shotto. Nihon no ongaku. Oh. Um, what would be the appropriate uh, verb for this one? Random fairy geek san wa chotto nihon no ongaku o. Nihon no ongaku. We have this phrase here. Two things that are relating to each other. Nihon no ongaku. First of all, what is Nihon no Ongaku? Nihon no Ongaku wa eigo de nan desu ka? Yes, Japanese music. So what can we do with Japanese music? We obviously can't eat it. So what would be our the appropriate verb for this one? Listen, correct. What is our verb to listen? To listen wa Nihongo de nan desu ka? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, kikimas. So random fairy geek san wa chotto nihon no ongaku o kikimas. Oops, oops. Oh, it does that? That's cute. There you go. And in English, what does this sentence mean now in English? Uh, random furry geek san wa chotto nihon no ongaku o kikimasu. Wow, it's like really picking me, picking up on me, like bouncing to the music today. <laughs> Uh, listen to a little bit of Japanese music. Yes. Random Furry Geek san listens to a little bit of Japanese music. Now, word or like, especially with Choto, personally, I um, I can actually move this to like af to like here after o. Like, Random Furry Geek san wa nihon no anko wa choto kikimasu. And that would be okay too. Remember, word order. Uh, you're very flexible with how you move words around as long as like your direct op your particles are still tied with the correct uh, the correct uh, nouns mm -hmm. I also realize oh there it is okay our next word is taite and taite means anyone want to guess taite no imi wa nan desu ka what does taite mean you can look at the vocabulary list if you would like. Oh, I used you an example, random furry geek. That's uh, he was. Uh, they were just answering a, uh, a sentence I created. Uh, not a well. I need to check this real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Um, if I were to write this in kanji, though... Oh, it is there. Look at that. 
Uh, you're, uh, a lot... I mean, that's a very good guess, actually. A lot. This is more for, like, usually. Yep, usually. Like, you usually do this kind of thing. And I will use, um... Uh, for this example, I'll use some coyote. Some coyote san wa taike. And I'm looking at the vocabulary list because I, I I want to make sure I'm using these words so that you guys uh, can see them. Taite. Kisa ten de. Not guilty, Your Honor. Taite. Some coyote san wa. Oh, oh, I'm missing some. Some coyote san wa. I almost messed up. Kisa ten de. Taite. Kisa ten de. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm I'm just using this as an example, but. <clears throat> um. <laughs> like I said, just an example. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to pick up you. I'm just making an example. Okay. <laughs> and I, I'm going to move this down because apparently it's hiding. All right, so some coyote san wa taite kisa ten de date wo shimasu. San Koyori san wa taite kisa ten de date wo And Jesse's uh Jesse, I see you, you did fix it. Not the cafeteria, but yes. So some coyote usually dates um usually like in English, we say usually has a. Nah, that's right. Usually dates at the cafe or coffee shop, or you know, you know how we how we say it nowadays, a coffee shop. <laughs> so some coyote usually dates at the co cafe at the coffee shop. So Taite here is usually. Um, I said kisa ten de. What does this particle mean, this de? When I use de here, what does this mean? I'm not kidding. Yes, location, where something's happening. So, where is he usually dating? Usually at the cafe. So, san koyori san wa taite kisa ten de date o shimasu. <laughs> oh, woo. Welcome in beta pup. And our last one for today will be Yoku. And Yoku, um, I think I already told you guys, so I'm just gonna put it in. Yoku means often. What do you often do? Uh we could say, like, it's not always, because always, I believe, is itsumo. Uh, but what do you do often? So, like, I could say for me, like, watashi wa yoku video game o shimasu. And remember, that you can literally turn shimasu into, uh, shimasu to make a verb out of anything. Watashi wa yoku video game o shimasu. And this was really simple. Uh, how what what would this sentence be in English? Watashi wa yoku video game wo shimasu. Yes, I often play video games. I often play video games. Video juegos. <laughs> that was actually obnoxious of me. <laughs> So 
So for our uh, examples here, our adverbs, we have zen zen, which means never or not at all. Zen uh, sensei wa zen zen o sake o nomimasen. My Spanish accent, I don't like my Spanish accent. <laughs> uh, remember, zen zen uses the negative form of the verbs when you are using them. Uh, for the for the moment, uh, could everyone type one sentence using Zen Zen? I often video game because I'm using the verb shimas, which is to do. Um, literally, it would be like I often do video games, but uh, the verb translates into I often play video games in English. Uh, so yeah, chats. I'm gonna put this here. Chat examples. Using Zen Zen or never. Uh, create a sentence in Japanese using Zen Zen. <laughs> using Zen Zen. Create a sentence. And you can do your best. Remember, if I correct you, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to, you know, help you. Zen, zen, which means never. Actually, let me make it flexible for you guys. Instead of, instead of just Zen Zen, pick one of the uh, frequency adverbs and create a sentence with that in Japanese. Uh, you can use either Zen Zen, Amadi. Remember, if you use either of these two, your verbs must be in the negative form. Uh, you can use Tokidoki, Chotto, Taite, and Yoku to create an example. If you need help with vocabulary words, uh, feel free to use the vocabulary list um, that I've given you guys. You can find it at the very top as well. <laughs> and I will be putting uh, so, for, uh, plenty of practice problems for the, for you guys uh, for this later on. So pay attention to the Discord uh, for those practice problems. Um, while you guys are working on creating your sentences, I'm going to do my Discord uh, advertisement again. For those of you that are new to the chat, or if you're lurking and would like to uh, continue uh, on with the Japanese lessons, um, exclamation point Discord will invite, oh, send you a, uh, give you a link, I can't speak, uh, will give you a link to my Discord. And I recommend uh, joining in on the Discord if you would like to continue learning. Uh, on Discord, once you agree to the rules of my Discord, welcome to the Tiger's Den, uh, just agree here by reacting to, with um, the Jack Hart. It will open up all the chat channels to, in the left. If you're interested and would like to learn the Japanese with us, in Role Selector here, the second one, select these uh, here with Jack Sip. Uh, if you react here, it will open up these channels and resources for you. Um, if I open up Japanese One Resources, at the very top, I do have all my lessons set up in a YouTube playlist. If I click here, uh, you'll see we have session 1 through 12. I still need to put up session 13 from the other class, and um, today's lesson should be up here very soon. Uh, you can also find the pre uh, the notes from the previous chapters that we've been working on. We have our chapter one, chapter two, and we will more than likely be finishing the chapter three notes today. Uh, what that means is that we're going to have a Kahoot game soon, guys. So I hope you are prepared for the Kahoot. You all seem to really like playing Kahoots. So uh, that will be a lot of fun to do once we get to that. Uh, that's it for Discord. Let's see what do we got. Jesse, uh, no wa zen zen osa uh, asa gohan o tabemasen. So Jesse wrote, and I'm going to put this in both hiragana and romanji for you guys. Watash, watashi no. 
Yeah, it, it's fun. It is a simple concept. The only thing I hate about Kahoot is that I ha you have to see the answers on my screen because on your screen, it's just like you have like star, square, circle. And I'm like, well, what are the answers? You have to literally look at my screen for it to work. And I think that's BS, to be honest. Uh, so, Watashi no Otousan. Otousan wa zen zen. Asa, zen zen. Asago. Asago han. Oh my god. <laughs> Asago han. Oh. Tabe masen. Watashi no Otousan wa zen zen. Asago han. Oh. Tabe masen. Uh, let's see, and then um, that's Jesse's Asanonics here. Watashi wa mari hon o yomimasen. Watashi wa amari hon o yomimasen. Watashi wa amari hon o yomimasen. And some quote, Watashi wa yoku soba. Uh, yoku. Hold on, yoku. Posokan no mimas. Posokan no mimas. You uh, are you trying to say you often read your computer? Watashi, watashi wa yoku posokan. No mimas. Uh, you often watch your computer. Um. If you want to use watch, we're going to use a different verb. We'll use miru instead. Watashi wa yoku pasukan. Uh, oh, don't forget your object particle. Uh, object o oh, mimas. Uh, the verb you used was to drink, by the way. <laughs> Watashi wa yoku pasukan o oh, mimas. Uh, Random Fergie, thank you for that hydrate. I'm going to do that right now. Yes, Miru becomes Mimas. Uh, I'm not using the kanji yet on my notes, only because I haven't taught uh, the kanji for Miru just yet. But yes, you're correct. Uh, mimas. Um, I want to do. Uh, let's do Jesse's first. Watashi no otousan wa zenzen asagohan o tabemasen. Watashi no otousan wa zenzen asagohan o tabemasen. Let's try to translate this, guys. What does this mean? Watashi no otousan wa zenzen asagohan o tabemasen. Watashi no otousan wa zenzen asa gohan o tabemasen. If uh, one thing I uh, you did correctly. You use tabemasen, the negative, which is correct. You, uh, since you use zen zen, you use the negative. Uh, Asanonix, you too. For amari, you use the negative. For yomimasen, which is correct as well. So, come on, guys. What does this mean in uh, ego de nanto imasuka? What does this mean? In, how do you say this in English? Watashi no otousan. Let's, let's break it apart first, then. Uh, watashi no otousan. So we have, yes, my father never eats. I spelled father wrong. My father never eats. And then we have asa gohan. Asa gohan. My father never eats. What is asa gohan? Yes, breakfast. My father never eats breakfast. Asa gohan for breakfast. Very good. My father never eats breakfast. Let's go to Asanonic's sentence or example next. Uh, they wrote, Watashi wa amari hon o yomimasen. Watashi wa amari hon o yomimasen. 
Watashi wa amari hon yomimasen. Me too, by the way. <laughs> what does this sentence mean in English? Ego de kono bun wa nanto imasu ka? <laughs> yes, um, both are correct. I don't read books often, or I don't read books very often. So I don't. I put don't often, so that, like, not often. So I don't often read books. I'm put, I'm only writing it this way because uh, so that I can put these two together, but you guys are correct. I don't read books very often, or I don't read books often. Both are correct. I don't often read books. And this, it's the same for me, kind of thing. Immortal, the white fox, if, but, if, but, I thought you were immortal. <laughs> Uh, our last one, and I uh, for and this one is from I believe some coyote. You wrote this one, yes? Yes. Watashi wa yoku pasokan o mimas. Watashi wa yoku pasokan o mimas. Pasokan is actually a shortened form of personal computer. Pasokan. So watashi wa yoku pasokan o mimas. Yes, I often watch my computer. Watashi mo, me too. I often watch my computer. Um, you may think like I often use my computer. We haven't learned that verb yet, so I'm not going. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. So I often watch my computer. Watashi mo, which means I mo means also me too. Is basically what that means. Watashi mo. <laughs> uh, any uh, any questions on using our frequency adverbs? I'm, what I'm really happy about is like it looks like you guys are starting to get a, a, a bit of an understanding of how to use the particles too. That's good. All right, good job, guys. That was that was great. <laughs> I was re I'm really happy with that. Yay! I, I need like I, I feel like I need more like animated expressions or something. It'd be like um, who watches Lumetric by the way? Who has seen Lumi's Lumi's chat? Like Lumi, like yeah, the sentences are definitely getting more content in them. Like we uh, when we first started this on session one, it was like very basic, but now our sentences are getting more uh, elaborate very quickly. Uh, and I, I'm actually kind of worried about I was actually a little worried about that because we are moving very 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 fast <laughs> Like in the beginning some of you were like, oh, this is easy stuff, but now we're getting we're, we're growing very quickly guys <laughs> uh, But yeah, if, if any of you guys have seen Lumetric, um, he, he has this like redeem uh, Where it's like Lumi Peak or something and then you, you, you redeem it with the channel points, and then in the corner of this, or at the very bottom of the screen, is this animated GIF, or animated sh whatever, of Lumetric, his persona, just like peeking over the corner. And I'm like, oh, it's so fucking cute. <laughs> and I'm like, I kind of wish I had one with like a tiger that just peeks in the corner or something. Maybe I should try, maybe I should make one. Hmm. I should consider these, especially for like teaching. Like, if you like say uh because i know like uh what you might call it uh like kitsuneko has like redeems also for with japanese i should probably try to do some of that as well all right um we'll jump to the last thing we need to talk about guys and that is going to be and let me change the title the last thing is like inviting someone to do something with you Inviting someone to do something with you. Peaking inspired. <laughs> like, it would be like, it'd be like this.
It would be like this. Uh, someone redeems... Uh, what? Okay. Someone redeems, like, Jack Peak. And then the core... Uh, I don't have to say anything, but you see the animated picture at the bottom of the screen, like, going like this. And then it, it, and then it like, disappears. Uh, that, that's basically the redeem itself. And I'm like, that's so cute. <laughs> I, I kind of want it. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> that was adorable. <laughs> Inviting someone to a, uh, to a date to kiss a, to kiss a ten. <laughs> All right, so when we invite someone, so to invite someone to do something with you, you use the negative form of the verb plus ka. Uh, basically, this is going to, and I'll put this in the table. This is going to basically be masen ka. I'm not talking... It sounds like Go, Gohan's like ability, Masenko, but no. Uh, Masenka. So basically, it is plus... Masenka. And this is actually a very quick and easy grammar point. Something Masenka. So if I were to say... Um, Asenonix-san. Mm, like Essenonic san. Uh, sushi o tabemasen ka? What would this then mean? Essenonic <laughs> san, sushi o tabemasen ka? Yes, would you, uh, and in this case, it'd be like, would you like to eat sushi? And it, since this is an invitation, it's always implied with me, or us, or whoever we're with. That's a nice song, would you like to eat sushi? Like, sushi o tabimasen ka? Let's try, um... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Jesse-san. Ega o nimasen ka? What would this one mean? Jesse-san. Ega o nimasen ka? Ega. I believe this was one of our new words, too. Ega. Crap, it's not- why is this not here? This is like- Ega, Ega, Ega. Well, in, in, in any case, uh... Oh yeah, it is here. Ega, Ega. What would this mean in English? Ega. Gladly, but not at the theater. <laughs> So what does this mean? Actually, write uh, uh, write down what it means. Be right back, real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Yes, Jesse, would you like to watch a movie? So, Jesse, would you like to watch a movie? And of course, with me or us, depending on who's talking. Like, if you're with friends, 
and you wanted to invite someone with you, you could use this too. Jesse, uh, Jesse san, ego wo mimasen ka? Um, so this is re it's it's really not too difficult. Like um, if I said, uh, let's use um, who am I going to use? Uh, I apologize, lurkers. I'm going to borrow one of your names, Beta Pup. I'm going to use your name. If I said like Beta Pup, son, um, Tosho Kande, Tosho Kande. Benkyoshimasenka. What would this one mean? Beta Pop san. Toshikan de Benkyoshimasenka. No, I don't want it to do that. Beta Pop san. Toshikan de Benkyoshimasenka. <laughs> uh, Beta, would you like to study at the library with me, us? Yes, that's what this one would mean. Beta, pup, would you like to study? I'm gonna say in the light or study at the library. Would you like to study in the library? Or study at the library. Yeah. With me or us, kind of thing. Seems like you guys got it. Now, so far, let me see. Let me double check the vocabulary because I want to make sure I'm. Like I said, I want to make sure I'm using all of the vocabulary. Hmm. Uh, would you not? <laughs> now, something simple. To reply to these requests or invitations, you could do one of the following. And I'm gonna put this in the table. And we'll paint this one, uh, we'll have this one in red because this will be like denying. And then this one will be in green because yay, all's good. So I'm gonna use, um, I'm, gonna make an, I'm gonna make another sentence here and I want you guys to take a look at it. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Jesse, I'm gonna use you again. Jesse-san. Doyobi ni. Uh, doyobi ni. Let me see another word I haven't used yet. I'm trying to, like, trying to use as many words as I can. Uh, I I sh <laughs> First of all, what does this mean? Jesse san, doyobi ni, doyobi ni gakko de sports wo shimasen ka? Jesse san, doyobi ni gakko de sports wo shimasen ka? I did add quite a bit here. Doyobi ni gakko de sports wo shimasen ka? There is something about sports. So we're going to put that here. Sports. Jesse san, do yobi ni? Or in fact, we'll say Jesse. Do yobi ni gakko de sports wo shimasen ka?
。ジェシーさん、土曜日に学校でスポーツをしませんか土曜日に。Yes, so 土曜日に on Saturday。Would you like to play sports? So, Jesse, on Saturday, would you like to play sports? Oh, I forgot. Would you like to play sports at school? Yes, doyobi is Saturday. Doyobi. And that is one of the vocabulary. They only gave a Saturday and Sunday for this、uh, chapter. Doyobi and nichiobi for Sunday. Doyobi is Saturday. Or neko day, cat day, cat day. Meow. <laughs> So, Jesse san, do you have any de sports or shimasen ka?、Uh, you could say, because this is red, this will be in the negative.、Uh, do you have a chotto? Do you have a chotto? Now, notice that I didn't finish this sentence. You could say, do you have a chotto des? Uh, but in most sentences,、uh, since I'm dragging out, do you be a chotto? We could technically say, if we're like being specific about Saturday, do you be. do you be niwa chotto? But、uh, optional, but do you be a chotto? Because I'm talking about on Saturday. So. Saturday is. And choto. We said choto before means、um, like a little bit, just a little bit. But in this context, doibi wa choto. Saturday is a little inconvenient, is what this means. Wow, I finally got a new computer and I have been using my iPad, which was like 30 seconds latency. Now my latency is like two seconds. It's almost unbelievable how fast you respond. Oh. <laughs> It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> if the computer, if, also, if your computer is directly connected to the internet, your internet speed will be much faster. Hey, Kunenu no Yoko so, Mau Mau Mau. Mau des. Mau 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 Mau. But in this sentence, do you be wa cho. Uh, Saturday is a little inconvenient. Because remember, we're talking about. We're, getting, we're having an invitation on Saturday. Now, to answer positively here, you could say. You, this is going to be easy. いいですね。いいですね。And that's basically like, that's good or that's great. Or generally, like, okay. Like, いいですよ。いいですね。So, if someone invites you to something for now, oh, look, guys, I, we're being asked if I want to become famous. You know what's also, you know how to get famous? You get banned. <laughs> Big follows, dude. Oki follows, Desu, yo. この虎は日本語を教えるですね。I said that so badly. <laughs>、uh, anyway, <laughs> big brain. So, Jesse さん、土曜日に学校でスポーツをしませんか You could say, 土曜日はちょっと。Or, いいですね。That sounds good. So, like, for example, and I'm going to type this in chat, and you guys can respond to me. If I said, like, Uh, uh, let's see. Asanomic san.、Uh, let me use what you said. Sushi o、uh, sushi o tabemasen ka? You could say. Or actually.、Uh, hold on.、Uh, in this case, we used、um, doyobi wa choto.、Um, to make it general, you, could be, you can be like. I'll say this. For general uses. And this is basically、um, that's a bit inconvenient, kind of thing. 
And uh, if you don't know how to like elaborate on the sentences just yet, this is a good one to use for for general uh, for general use. Like, um, chodo. <laughs> if someone's like, "Hey, do you want to study with me?" Um, chodo, <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like, hey, do you want to go? You want to see this very, very boring movie with me? Mm, <laughs> uh, how would you say maybe? Um, I'm drawing a blank for some reason. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I know this one. Fuck, I'm gonna look. Uh, let me look this up. Maybe. That's a different use. Uh, maybe like, ne? Like, maybe, like, kamo. But I think it'd be more appropriate to be like, chotto. Uh, for now. So, as an onyx, if I said, sushi o tabemasenka, you're like, <laughs> uh, Jesse san, eigo, eigo o mimasen ka? Uh, you have two options, either i desu ne or mm, chotto. <laughs> so, so Jesse san, eigo o mimasen ka? Or even like if I if I was like, um, do we want to follow what the rando said in your chat? Mm, chotto. Yes, we could. Some coyote. <laughs> I was like, would you like to be famous? Mm, chotto. <laughs> uh, Jesse is like so so. It's like so so. Um, what if I said like for example? Um, let's see. Kunenunu san, Final Fantasy o shimasen ka? Final Fantasy or Shima Senka? Would you like to play Final Fantasy with me? Is what that means, basically. Kune Nunuza, Final Fantasy or Shima Senka? Hmm. You could say, hmm, Choto. Or, Idis. Idis, ne? That would be good. Um, I don't think we said your name right in Furry Geek. I don't, I don't recall. Huh? That's neat. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Oh, Shima Senka. Would you like to play Final Fantasy with me? You could either say, mmm, chotto, like that. Uh, not really. Or, i desu ne? That would be fun. Or, that's great. Or, i desu ne? <laughs> I'm not getting any answer. That's okay. Like everyone's just like, mm, Choto. Don't say uh, and don't forget it's it's Choto, not like Johto, like the Pokemon League. Mm, Johto. <laughs> All right, so that's actually going to be it for chapter three, guys. That's the end of chapter three. I've gone, what well, we've gone over verb, let me go over the notes, man. There's, we have 10 pages of notes for this one. My goodness. All right, so we went over verb conjugation. We talked about we have ru verbs, we have u verbs, and we have our irregular verbs. And this was only in four sessions where we finished a chapter. I'm amazed. Uh, we conjugated ru verbs. Remember, tabemasu, tabemasen. We are only focused on present, future-ish tense. Uh, our irregular verbs, like, um, kuru, suru, benkyo, suru. Yeah, myth, uh, Mythic, you came in at the very end. Uh, I'm doing a quick review of what we've learned so far. Dinner time? Okay, dinner's cool. Uh, so yeah, we have our vocabulary, we had new kanji, uh, which was mostly numbers and then the kanji for time. We have our verb conjugation, we did, uh, we went over this. Uh, we have the three types of verbs, ru, u, irregular, and our irregular ones are kuru, suru, 
And siru used often for like benkyo suru. So kimas, kimasen, shima, shimasen, and like benkyo, shimas, benkyo, shimasen. Uh, the biggest thing that we went over were particles. The particles was probably probably the hardest part. Primal data center game rise up. <clears throat> crystal. Uh, crystal. <laughs> uh, so we the particles we've learned already were wa, which is our our subject or topic particle, ka, the question particle, no, which is used for either possession or showing a relationship between two objects, ne, which is used for agreement. Uh, yo, which is used for when you're very sure or you're exclaiming something, and mo, which means also. We've now learned the particle o, which is our direct object particle. We've learned de, which is our location particle. We learned ni, which has two purposes. It can be used for direction, for movement, uh, as well as time reference. As well as particle e, which is very similar to ni, but it is only used for direction or movement. Uh, we learned, we reviewed the particles because it was very important that we did this. And I think that helped with you guys. But we also talked about word order. Uh, remember, like, watashi wa restaurant de sushi o tabemasu. It's the same thing as saying watashi wa sushi o restaurant de tabemasu. As long as your nouns are connected to the correct uh, particles, your sentence will make sense. Uh, unlike watashi wa sushi de restaurant o tabemasu. I eat sushi, I eat the restaurant in the sushi. Uh, one thing I probably should, could review you guys a bit more on is time reference. We use particle ni when we're talking about exact times. Uh, sometimes when referring to like times like in the morning, we can use it. But for abstract times, like the, uh, like the uh, adverbs we used just now, the time reference adverb, the um, frequency adverbs, they don't use the time reference particle ni at all. Like kyo, today. Uh, it's very general. You don't need to use it. Uh... Maiban, every night. You don't need to use it either. Mainichi. Uh, those are like relative times. Uh, as well as our frequency adverbs, which we just learned today. Remember, zen zen and amari must use the negative form of the verb. Uh, then we have toki doki for sometimes. Chotto for just a little bit. Taite for usually. And yoku for often. Uh, some examples you guys came up with, and I'm really happy with it. You guys had some really good examples today. Uh, My father never eats breakfast. And he uh, used the verbs correctly, too. Uh, I don't often read books. And I often watch my computer. And then the last one, Masenka. Uh, I really think this is an easy grammar point after, like, after, like, particles. Uh, masenka was pretty simple. Uh, which means you just invite someone. You use the negative form of the verb plus ka. Uh, in which case, like, be careful. If you want to say, like, did you not eat breakfast? Uh, like, asuko no tabe masenka does not mean, um... That that's more of an it, it, that's still an invitation. Uh, did you not eat breakfast? Uh, it's better just say like asuko no tabe masu ka. Like did, will you eat breakfast kind of thing. And then to reply to invitations, you can say for negative, you can be like mm, chotto or i desu ne. That's great. Uh, just like our 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 bot earlier. Would you like to be famous? Mm, chotto <laughs> kind of thing. All right, any questions, guys? Uh, the next time we have class um, will be, uh, an, uh, like, the next time we have class will be, like, the big review, uh, uh, what's the game? Kahoot game. So we'll be playing Kahoot the next time uh, I do my lesson. Uh, it is Wednesday. Um, I do have to say that I will not be doing a lesson on Saturday. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing the lesson on Saturday is because... First of all, St. Patrick's Day is next week. And I, it's, I think it's like on a Wednesday. I'm not going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in the middle of, of, a, of a work week. I'm going to do it on the weekend before. So I'm probably going to be drunk on Saturday. I'm, I'm not, uh, that, that's going to be the truth. <laughs> so, uh, more than likely, the Kahoot will be on Monday. So that would be Monday the 15th. 
also valid. Monday the 15th will be the next Japanese lesson for my class. So, Taiko uh, Sensei no Jugyo wa Getsuyobi ni arimasu. Drunk Japanese? Oh god. When I get drunk, I get I get bilingual. I speak in both languages. <laughs> so, yeah, the next class. Uh, Sugi no Jugyo wa Getsuyobi desu. It will be on Monday. Uh, that being said, as a reminder uh, for you guys, don't forget, it's Daylight Savings this coming Sunday. So the clocks, uh, if you have a digital device, your clocks will automatically adjust. But if you have like a normal wall clock, you will have to manually do it yourselves. So, yay, it's technically 7.30 right now, guys. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do next, I'm going to find out who to raid out to. Uh, thank you guys for coming in for today's lesson. I hope you really enjoyed, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let's see. Who, who, dare, dare ni raid o shimasu ka na? Ashita manyara, see you, Nara. That was disgusting! <laughs> Alright, so, let's see. It is Wednesday. That means... There may be, um... I, I am ending a little bit early-ish today. I see Muse is doing a charity stream. Um, I don't see uh, Kitsuneko just yet, so we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna raid out to Muse because he's doing a uh, he's doing a charity stream. Uh, it's okay, Mythic. <laughs> um, the VOD will be up later. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna try to put the VOD up uh, immediately after this. Uh, let me check on Muse real quick. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, th he's doing a charity stream tonight. So I'm going to raid out to him. Um, slash raid at Muse. Are they, is, this, is his name connected? It is. Muse Wolfric. And our raid message would be... Our raid message is going to be... Yeah, the Wild Abandoned Mario thing. Our, um, we're going to say... Um, Muse is Bob. Muse is Bob Ross. And then you can do your heart emotes. Like this. This will be our raid message. Muse is Bob Ross. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming in. I will see everybody. Uh, I'm still going to be doing my uh, Final Fantasy stuff tomorrow and Friday. Uh, more than likely, it will be Blue Mage stuff. Uh, I, uh, Since we're preparing to raid with Blue Mages soon. Alright, I will catch everybody later. Thanks for coming in for the lesson. Dude, I haven't signed any of the other ones.